Finally, as a practical matter, you ordered UBS to restore, at its own expense, a sample of five backup tapes selected by the plaintiff, produce the requested information from those five, and then keep track of the costs. The parties could then return to court, and the court would be in a position to weigh the costs and benefits of restoring the remaining backup tapes. Did you think at the time that you were issuing a groundbreaking opinion by holding that responsive information from backup media needed to be produced? Well, Ken, it's an immodest answer, but I think I knew. I didn't know, maybe, that it would still be a case taught in law schools 10 years later and that it would be called the basis of today's e-discovery world. I couldn't foresee all of that. But I knew it was groundbreaking because there was no other case to cite. So when I was looking around to how to decide what information uh, was available to, to be reviewed and produced, I really couldn't find anything that said whether inaccessible sources, that is, that which is not easily available on active systems, needed to be preserved, needed to be searched. I really didn't know. So I sort of worked out a hierarchy, starting with the most accessible, the active data, as you all know, and moving down in four and five categories to the less accessible, and trying to draw a line, and trying to say, we start with the accessible, we move to the inaccessible if needed. That's what I thought was revolutionary at the time. Not so much the focus on backup tapes, although it was a big issue in its day, but the notion of how to do this. How do we do this uh, discovery of electronic information, which I think is quite different than paper. So, If the facts of Zuba Lake 1 were presented to you again, would you issue the same kind of order, the sample testing of five tapes? <laughs> Uh, the answer is undoubtedly so, if it, if it was presented to me again. But if you mean if it was presented to me today, I would have to give a different answer. Today's a new world. Um, today I don't expect that the big issue would even be backup tapes. Uh, I think there'd be many other issues today, which would be all of the newer sources that have developed in the last 10 years. And we're going to touch on them, I'm sure, in this next hour. Uh, but things like text messages and voicemails and social media, there's so much new to talk about. We're, we're sort of, pa uh, I would say backup tapes are passe to some extent. But the idea of accessible and, and less accessible and the cost of going to the less accessible is still true today. So the, the general framework is still there. Now the parties did indeed come back after Zuba Lake won.